morning baggers, <coughs> Bertie Bagger here, back on the road again and we're off to Sturchley Top Ball today over in Telford for round five I think it is of the Ordco Angling Club series. Now we were here a few weeks ago for what I think was round three and I managed to have a good day, managed to sneak a little win off permanent peg 15 in the far corner with 32 pound of silvers not a carp in sight hammered the caster all day uh, they got a lovely stamp of hide in there and I had a few bonus tents to go with it so yeah had a good day there uh, still no carp coming out the place really according to uh, the lads up at Oaken Gates Tackle John and Gareth, but um, we'll have a look. I was hoping we'd be able to perhaps sneak a couple off the top on the pellet waggler today because it's been lovely weather all week. Red hot sunshine every day this week. And you wake up this morning and look at that. Absolutely hammering it down. Temperature's still quite warm, it'll probably ease off at about 10, 11 o'clock and start drying up. But, you know, we'll have to have a look. We might send them back down again. Now, this is my first outing since the uh, pears, canal pears, on the Shops Union a couple of weeks ago. I'm not allowed out very often, the missus puts a stop to it. Plus it was her birthday yesterday, so we'll let her off for that. We didn't do too well in there, we got that peg by the bridge, and although I was happy with the peg, it fished how I expected really. Both ends of that stretch of the canal, about two pound five ounces. And the lad on the other end by the bridge had two pound four, and this on the in-stop wood section, and they slowly, the weight slowly got better towards the wires, which are the flyers. And then old boy Dave off the flyers, he got £30 something, just over £30. But the match overall was smashed really by Scott Dudson and Dave Brown, fair play to them. Uh, Scott, he was on a, a section really, to the right of the Instock Bridge section. Uh, it's not really renowned for massive weights, but £37 something off there. I'd have loved a bit of that, but no, fair play to them, so they won and qualified, obviously. I can't remember what Dave had, but he didn't want it too bad, I don't think. Was it nine pounds or something? I don't know. Uh, so no, this is my first out. I took the lad fishing down the Honeysuckle Canal at Newport the other day. Won a chuck all day, and a nice four and a half pound tent right at my feet. Uh, only fishing top two because I had to keep taking the fish off the hook for the lad and baiting him up. So I've look, been looking forward to this all week. The weather's put a bit of a damper on it when I woke up this morning, but we'll have a look. Plenty of casters with me, so we're going to try the same thing again. Start building a bit of a bag full of silvers. See if we can poach a couple of these car. Last time, I knew I was well in the lead last match we were up on here. But then Phil Bowie, my mate, he managed to catch a sneak out a couple of carp down the margin in the last hour and nearly spoilt it for me. So you do, I do need to try and poach a carp or two from somewhere. I tried the margins last time and there wasn't any, I didn't even get a bite in the margins. I don't know if you fished Sturgeon before, but it's like a quarry. <laughs> it's a... Uh, I was fishing top two and plus one, and I was fishing about five foot. As soon as you go further, another foot out further, it drops down to about 12 foot. It's really deep. Uh, so, the only thing I'm going to try a bit different. <coughs> there it is. It's not to sneeze. Now the only thing I'm going to try different today is fish heavier on my caster rig because I was fishing four bungee which is pretty soft, nice for them hide and easily cope with them tench. Uh, four 
four pound bottle but what I want to try and do I'm going to try and get the rig the length of the whole top two plus one see if I can swing them into and speed it up a lot of time I felt was wasted by using the landing net after all these eyed because these eyed are about five six ounces a piece if not a little bit bigger some of them so they were just a bit too heavy to swing into hand on that elastic so I'm gonna go with a bit heavier elastic uh, all right I might bump a few off but we'll see ambulance coming Come on, jockey! Woo -hoo -hoo. He's just gone through a red light. Lunatic. Yeah, so I'll see you when we get to Stacey Top. We'll have a walk around and try and come up with a plan and get a good draw. Because, uh, uh, to be fair, I did have a good draw in that far end. So I'll see you later. See you, baggers. Right, here we are baggers at Sturchley Top. Cup of tea on the go, you know the rules. And we've drawn peg 12 in the corner. Right here. We've got all that to aim at. A few been topping out in the middle. So I'm going to be method all changed today I was going to go with the caster's approach like I did last time <laughs> two, top two plus one out but it's, this side's renowned for the car although none of them, not many have been coming out lately this inside too nice to ignore and I've asked Ali if I can cast a feeder over there if need be, she said no problem. That's like this side of the sign. So, let's have a look at the tackle. So, the main approach today is Inside, just by that yellow flower, and we're fishing. Camera, wave to the camera. <laughs> Three foot of water here, so we're fishing with it. So I've got 20 hollow elastic in, which needs tightening up. So a size 12 Guru hook. And a nice, I think that's three quarter gram float with let's have a look at how long we got on today. We are fishing with 025 main line down to an 020 upland. We fish two swims just through them reeds there, there's a nice little alleyway. I can fish right on the edge of them, so I need something beefy because they're going to smash me straight into there. And another swim right down there by that yellow plant. So two margin swims on the pace. Let's put that away. 10 tend to keep the bait band on because it helps the uh, pace stay on the upper bit. Right? Sometimes I'll put a pellet on as well. And then tried and tested method, which won it for me last time. 32 pound silvers. Top two plus one. We've got three, four, four pound hook length. Well, better know. No, it's not four pound at all. 012 hook length, 015 main line, the Brennan crystal gibber, 04 of a gram, with four number 
four, number nine. One, two, three, four, five, number nine. And a number ten dropper on the Uckland. Fishing top two, plus one. Just out. Cast is thrown by hand. Non stop. Give it a slow fall through the wall. Start bagging them hide again. Heavy elastic, I've got a 12 hollow in this. That's what I didn't use last time, but I'm going to try and swing them into hand to see using the landing net. And then, while I'm fishing on the insides, all these casters, I'm going to be pinging a few 8mm pellets out. In fact, the 10mm pellets, because I ran out of 8 and 10 was all I had. I ain't gonna buy some more, use what you've got, don't waste. So, got four float stops, you don't really need one or two above the top, you only need the one, you just need the two at the bottom. With a 10 gram guru pallet waggler, might change down to a 5 gram in a minute. Not much wind, we're not really going much distance, so I probably will change that. Down to a banded 10 mil. Two. An 020 Guru hook again. Start off fishing. Pound foot and half bottom. I'll see you during the match. Ta da. Right, the haul in's just been shouted. I just pinged a couple of pellets out to see if anything's swirling. A couple of 10 mils, not far out, in line with Kev over there. And a couple of casters out in front of me. Start on this caster line. Top two and one. Where's everybody else going? Harry's putting shop way right in front. So, Mr. Matson's drawn my flyer of a peg. Last time I was here. Permanent peg 15. See if there's any silvers about. Deep out here, it's about four and a half foot, just at this depth. Move them a bit too far. There's four or five casters every time over the top, let it fall slowly down through the water. Then five number nine droppers and the number ten on the up level. Give it a nice slow fall. Put the feeder in right down his edge on the right hand side to see how he gets in. He gets a few bites on that tip, and then uh, we know that the carp are already on the inside. We might have a look on the base early on. A couple of ten mils going in. A 
Oh, little indication already. One showing on the top out there. the casters up off the top. Oh, someone having another nibble. Might be higher up in the water. There we go. There it settles on the bottom. So we're not getting any bites through the water just yet. There we go. First one. Nice roach. Sorry, hide. And we're off and running. Cracking stamp of hide in here. Pick it out, drag it back, sink your line. Get the cat here. Couple more to allow the bike then. Float not settled, there we go. Drop is down and the bike soon as it hits the bottom. So they are down on the bottom. Nothing swirling out in the middle yet on the top, coming up for them pellets and catapulting in. Good old Phil wanted to start on the pellet waggle and castrate in the tree. finicky bites to start with. And again. Better bite. I took it before it got on the bottom. Nice little skimmer. Skim by the roof. He's caught one already on the tip on the inside. Yeah. No. Nice one, H. Oh, me watching Harry, see what fish he had, missed the bite. Yesterday, 
miss that one. Try again. Oh, they're jumping on the inside to me right. He's had that on the sweet corn on the tip. Silvers are as fast as they were a month ago when we were here. That was a very early bite up in the water. That was a cracking bite. There we go. A lovely fish. for the fish, beautiful, beautiful hybrid. Over a pound. Go again. Try the white one again. Quick enough on this silver line. If it doesn't speed up in a minute, we're gonna have to have a look on something else. Again. This is not looking good. Very slow. Fish topping around me now.
Oh, I might shallow, yeah, shallow a bit first. And not on the bottom. Shallow by a foot. Let's just mark where I was. So we're about an inch down from the first knot. Pattern out a bit more. Let's just try that. Top corpse has gone for them pellets. I'm gonna have to get out and have a look for them. I keep feeding these casters in there while we're out there. Time on this caster line, not happening yet. Let's get out on this pellet waggler, see if we can tempt a couple in. Swirl on the top. Big swirl. Big swirl. Fishing about 18 inches deep at the minute on this waggle. About. They're coming in, they're moving into the sound of the pellets hitting the surface. Oh, a couple more again. Just missed another one.
Look at them, new cast is it? Nothing is yet, no bites yet. They're there, they're showing. Straight in this time, mix it up. Go a bit deeper. Try a couple more casts. into one. We'll just go down a bit deeper I think. Maybe these folks stops up a bit. So I did change we're on a six gram granin now. Granin waggle it. And we'll push that up. So we're about two foot deep there. I'll go a bit more in a minute. Nothing's interested yet. The fill opposite opposite me to the well, opposite to the left. We've gone a bit too far. He's had one out on the pole. on this pellet waggle. Right, here we are. I've moved back onto this pace line on the inside and I've had two carp off it, about six pound a piece. Put back in again and it's took off and bossed me. Seven and a half pound bottom. Some fishing paste on the hook and red maggot. So I'll just put in again before we feed any red maggots. And have a look. We're watching them moving in. I could do with going a bit shallower, but I can't get any further up the bank. About two and a half foot here. Perfect. Right in the reeds. 
You'll see some shadows in there. But they must be still in there. Well, whether it's the small stuff. Have a look. This is where the old edge monster comes into its own. This is what it's made for. Another nibble, bit of a liner. Another liner. Oh, I'll have it. An absolute splitting headache. It's been started this, the start of the match. It's been getting worse and worse. <sighs> no hay fever though today, thankfully, so there's a bonus. Come on. See them down by it. A little flash of gold then under the water. And I'm gonna mooch. Who's gonna take it? Another nibble, another nibble, go on. Oh, there's one right by it. Dip. Oh, come on. Don't get any favour up the bank. So I've only got two carp in the net. Nobody else has been catching, I don't think, apart from small silvers. But these carp are definitely in this edge now. Perhaps you need a few maggots. Putting in as well, potting in as well. Make them get their heads down. Look at it swaying the rig about. Lift by. Get them rummaging around. Big pinch of maggot. Big ball of paste.
bloke sticking too far out of the water now. Could have managed to find the slightly shallower bit. My head is absolutely killing. It's hitting me right eye as well. No good this inner baggers. Come on, one greedy carp with a big go on it. Suck it straight in. There we go. He had a nibble with it. And then he took it. Oh, what the hell? Twenty hollow, look at it. Come back here. I'll stop the main run. Trying to get into these reeds by me. Your head up. There he goes. in this is a Sort this out okay. The edge monster coming into its own.
went back in. There we are, starting the way in peg one, Harry, Harry Green. Nice net of silvers. Eighteen pound. Should have enough to beat eighteen, I think. Kevin Peg 2's had four pounds from it. And Phil's on Peg 3, he's just done his first wave silvers. Ten pound ten, which is good. Now he's got his big stuff. £1.13 then, winning it so far, more than me. Weighed in 23 pounds 4 ounces. Seventeen dead. Seventeen. Just feed Charlie. Charlie's just feeding. You feed your boy a pound. I've sat up there for hours, nothing. In that margin to your right. I've had, I've had two fish out them, one fish out the margin, that's all. I fished in front of me for the oid. Everything two foot deep and they're ten foot deep. Mm. That's all I've set the rigs up at two foot. I thought I'll get forty pounds out of here. Ten eleven. Put them back. Four. 
Oh, you got five pounds. Right. Yeah. 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 You know, you've got less than, you've got bloody minus weights before we start. Well, I still got some in there. You've got some in there. Oh, hang on. Oh, hard you come. Bloody hell. Look at the size of that one. Hey, you're coming down to my standard now, are you? Look at it. Oh, I only got one. £10 a bit, Steve. No, we're £10 oh, here. Oh, yeah. £23, four, I think. I'll fish for bits. Ten and a few eyes. I'll go back. Well, I tried two. to catch a carp, I couldn't catch it. Six twelve. Put them back. <laughs> Where's that? Fuck, so, Gerald. Hey, come up on me. On, um, oh, on me fishing bit. We'll have another one on after. <laughs> I did it for the craft the other week and then... Uh, How many of you got subscribed? You, well, the missus said, who's right. seen your video and at the time, there was seven people had watched it, my mates like. And then I went on, 560 odd had watched it and 14 had subscribed. What's it called? Bertie Bagger. Bertie Bagger. Yeah. I'll, I'll have a look at you, I'll have a look at you, I'll watch it all then. Oh, they take it, the film with the easy bit, you've got to go home and edit it oh, and get all the swearing yeah, out of yeah, it. Yeah, that's the trouble, isn't it? <laughs> I'm telling you, it was, it was like a carpet, you could walk across the buggers. Go on, you've still got one in there. Yeah. Oh, a little perch, yeah. Hey, get in there. Oh, no, it isn't, hang on to it. Yeah, anyway. You could walk yeah. across them yesterday when I pegged this. Oh, no, 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 is it made two? Yes, I made two. Two two ten. Whoa! Wonderful. Here we are. It's thirty pound easy. Oh yeah. Thirty pound of silvers and moan all the way through. You get on the end of here, did you? I've been in all along here and I've had one tench. But in front of me, where them eyes are, where them bloody eyes were, I've had to fish ten foot instead of two foot. And the rod, you know when you throw casters in? Yeah. And they boil on the top of the rod. I haven't seen a thing. Not a bloody thing. They're all ten, twelve foot deep, that's why. No, oh, they're all on bloody surface. They've been on the surface all week. Gerald's caught cool. them wafters. What, straight out in front of you? Or down the side? Everywhere. Well, where they reach through it. Vital piece of fishing equipment there. Zero. Yes, not, not. Right. That'll do you. Yeah. Plenty there, look. Oh, that's a weight for boys. It's no good. 20 pounding. Weight for boys. Any more? Good. Oh, plenty. Still. Just under 26, aren't you? 25.15! Just under 26. I had a ton of a 40 yet. That, that's a quarter of what I should have had off it in the sun. That'll do. Come on then, Gerald. Show us how it's done. Where were you fishing then? There, in front of that bush. Just looking at it under that. Most of it. On the feeder? I had one trout out there. On the feeder? Yeah. Nice one. Nice one. Nice one. It's 
That's where they are. I'll give you 28, Gerald. You're in a fire off. You're in a frack. 27-3. Ooh. That's enough to do this. <laughs> Keep doing it to me again, then. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bad old one, Jeff. It's just raining. We've had two weeks it's been like this. <laughs> Not a r the fish have been fucking floating on the top. Ah, the rain only affected him. Yeah, it didn't affect anybody else. <laughs> only 25 off that babby fish. 